Léon Victor Auguste Bourgeois, French, Le the 21st of May 1851 to the 29th of September 1925, was a French statesman. His ideas influenced the Radical Party regarding a wide range of issues. He promoted progressive taxation such as progressive income taxes and social insurance schemes, along with economic equality, expanded educational opportunities, and cooperative solidarism. In foreign policy, he called for a strong League of Nations, and the maintenance of peace through compulsory arbitration, controlled disarmament, economic sanctions, and perhaps an international military force. Biography <inaudible> 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 Bourgeois was born in Paris, and was trained in law. After holding a subordinate office 1876 in the Department of Public Works, he became successively Prefect of the Tarn 1882 and the haute garonne 1885, and then returned to Paris to enter the Ministry of the Interior. He became Prefect of Police in November 1887 at the critical moment of Jules Gravy's resignation from the Presidency. In the following year, he entered the chamber, being elected deputy for the Marne, in opposition to Georges Boulanger, and joined the radical left. He was Under Secretary for Home Affairs in Charles Floquet's Ministry of 1888 and resigned with it in 1889, being then returned to the chamber for Reims. In Pierre Tirard's ministry, which succeeded, he was Minister of the Interior, and subsequently, on 18 March 1890, Minister of Public Instruction in the cabinet of Charles Louis de Salches de Frisine, a post for which he had qualified himself by the attention he had given to educational matters. In this capacity, he was responsible for some important reforms in secondary education in 1890. He retained his office in Émile Lubit's cabinet in 1892, and was Minister of Justice under Alexander Ribot at the end of that year, when the Panama scandals were making the office one of peculiar difficulty. He energetically pressed the Panama prosecution, so much so that he was accused of having put wrongful pressure on the wife of one of the defendants in order to procure evidence. To meet the charge, he resigned in March 1893 but again took office and retired only with the rest of the Freisine ministry. In November 1895, he formed his own cabinet, distinctively radical, which fell as the result of a constitutional crisis arising from the persistent refusal of the Senate to vote supply. He was an eminent Freemason and eight of his cabinet members were Freemasons. The bourgeois ministry seemed to think that popular opinion would enable them to override what they regarded as an unconstitutional action on the part of the upper house. However, the public was indifferent, and the Senate triumphed. The blow damaged Bourgeois' career as an homme de gouvernement. As Minister of Public Instruction in the Brisson Cabinet of 1898, he organized courses for adults in primary education. After the short ministry, he represented his country with dignity and effect at the Hague Peace Convention, and in 1903 was nominated a member of the Permanent Court of Arbitration. He held somewhat aloof from the political struggles of the Waldeck Rousseau and Combes ministries, traveling considerably in foreign countries. In 1902 and 1903, he was elected president of the chamber. In 1905, he replaced the Duc d'Audifrit Pasquier as senator for the Department of Marne, and in May 1906, he became minister of foreign affairs in the Syrian cabinet. He was responsible for the direction of French diplomacy in the conference at Algeciras. He was delegate to both Hague conferences held in 1899 and 1907. Bourgeois also became delegate to Paris Peace Conference and strongly supported the Japanese racial equality proposal as an indisputable principle of justice. Following World War I, he became president of the Council of the League of Nations and won the Nobel Peace Prize for his work in 1920. A social republican, Bourgeois sought a middle ground between socialism and capitalism which he termed solidarism. He believed that the rich had a social debt to the poor which they should pay by the income tax, thus providing the state with the necessary revenue to finance social measures for those living in poverty. However, the Senate opposed his proposal, and opposition grew until his resignation as Prime Minister. <inaudible> Bourgeois ministry, 1 November 1895 – 29 April 1896 Léon Bourgeois, President of the Council and Minister of the Interior Marcelin Berthelot, Minister of Foreign Affairs Godefroy Cavagnac, Minister of War Paul Dumer, Minister of Finance Louis Ricard, Minister of Justice 
Edouard Locroy, Minister of Marine Emile Combes, Minister of Public Instruction, Fine Arts, and Worship Albert Viger, Minister of Agriculture Pierre-Paul Guayaisi, Minister of Colonies Edmond Guillot de Seine, Minister of Public Works Gustave Mejeror, Minister of Commerce, Industry, Posts, and Telegraph Changes 28 March 1896 Bourgeois succeeds Berthelot as Minister of Foreign Affairs. Ferdinand Sarian succeeds Bourgeois as Minister of the Interior. References France since 1870, Culture, Politics and Society by Charles Sourine. This article incorporates text from a publication now in the public domain, Chisholm, Hugh, ed. 1911. Bourgeois, Léon Victor Auguste. Encyclopædia Britannica, 11th ed. Cambridge University Press. Topic: <laughs> External links. About Léon Victor Auguste Bourgeois. Works by or about Léon Bourgeois at Internet Archive Newspaper clippings about Léon Bourgeois in the 20th Century Press Archives of the German National Library of Economics ZBW.